The Curve celebrates its fifth year in style. It's built itself into a real kind of community centre. It's really diverse and the things they put on are really exciting, so we do come here quite often. It really has uh, helped put Leicester on the map uh, and uh, certainly was uh, enormously important when we were doing our City of Culture bid. Uh, and it's, uh, it's wonderful to think that while we may not be City of Culture, we do have the curve. It's everybody's success, I think. It was opened on December the 4th, 2008 by Her Majesty the Queen, who was treated to a flavour of things to come. But you have to travel further back to learn how this theatre came to be. Back in 2001, most agreed that parts of Leicester were in desperate need of regeneration. Artistic director Paul Kerrison was involved in this mammoth project from the start. I was the artistic director of the old Haymarket Theatre in those days, so I was very privileged to be involved in all those first discussions about what sort of theatre. And if you're going to have a theatre, you didn't want the same kind of theatre that we had before. And even uh, right up to the last minute, there was... Uh, it wasn't absolutely definite that people were going to take the risk and build a curve. So even though the plans had been made and the design and everything else, it was a real struggle in some quarters to get it through. And yes, it did come out over budget and all those sorts of things can make, uh, make you feel, was it worth it? Uh, for me, of course, it was worth every penny. So the story of Curve hasn't always been a smooth one. Chief Executive Fiona Allen arrived at the theatre in 2011. When I started here two years ago, uh, we were still battling public perception. I think there was uh, still a feeling that um, people remembered the fact that Curve had cost a lot of money. Uh, there was some negativity still in the local media around um, you know, pub public perception that Curve had been a not very well managed project. And I guess I'd... I took that as the challenge of coming in as a chief executive was how you could really uh, turn around pop popular opinion. Over the last two years, the team has been working closer than ever with the community directly. <laughs> setting up community projects, giving free performances and pushing its commitment to introduce young people in Leicester to the arts. <laughs> It's really to get people from a very early age to have an experience of theatre. And that's important for a couple of levels. If you start taking part in culture at an early age, you're likely to continue that for your adult life. Uh, but also other things. There are studies that show that um, if you participate in culture, say in, in your, your, your very early years, you're multiple times more likely to go to university, for example. So there's something about culture and education that's a, a really positive force, and we really see it as part of our social responsibility to be giving that to the people of Leicester. So can everybody just be in a line back there? We are now attracting a lot of young people that have never experienced theatre before. They're involved in our, our Curve Young Company or our community musicals. Uh, we just recently did Sweeney Todd. The local talent that this stage that we're sat on now, the platform for local talent that, that curve is achieving that's the future it's the future audiences and it's the future talent and that for me is uh, heartwarming to see so of course it's about full houses and musicals and plays and whatever but really my biggest thrill is to see the local talent having this place to really fly with nurturing their skills Keep that passing going. as well as shows with the youth theatre Curve has a commitment to helping young local artists and performers into the industry with the Young Arts Entrepreneur Scheme. It's a three year programme that's being developed here at Curve for young people aged 16 to 26 and it's an opportunity for them to come to us with an idea, a creative idea and it could be with dance, theatre, 
performance arts, poets, spoken words, hip hop, there's all kinds. So, and they bring an idea to us um, and then we give them 12 months of funding and support and training and mentorship to help turn those ideas and those creative ideas into an enterprise. You know, I'd say there's been a fair few thousand people that have, that have, have had a kind of the benefit of these young people and their projects really. Since opening, Curve has also worked with more than 4,000 school children around the city, visiting more than 160 schools. Trying to reach as many people as possible in the city is a huge challenge for the theatre, but it's one it's embracing, even when times are tough. You've, you've got to be one step ahead of the game in an economic recession, and I know a lot of theatres are finding it extremely difficult. Uh, touch word, curve, because I think we present a, a, a really genuinely diverse programme for what is a fantastically, excitingly diverse cosmopolitan city. Uh, if you do that and you, you, you put on different things, dance, circus, something genuinely for everybody's taste, you will be packed out. We're trying to create a model of theatre in the 21st century in a very plural city. And theatre doesn't necessarily have cultural relevance across all of, different, of Leicester's different communities. And our, our challenge is, is how, to, how to acknowledge that uh, and how to, how to work with different communities to create something that's relevant for them. Because going to see a play, for example, isn't something that everyone wants to do. That's why Curve continues to push the limits of theatre. Traditional theatre performances are being mixed with modern ideas and techniques to reach as many people as possible in the city. The flexibility of this space helps to fulfil that mission and Curve has already been recognised for the work. And accessibility in its broadest sense is at the heart of everything that we try to do here at Curve. So from physically getting in and around the building to our pricing policies to how we work with communities both in the community and here in Curve to trying to offer you know, a sort of allergy uh, friendly recipes at the cafe. Everything that we do is about accessibility. Curve's co-productions have seen some locally produced shows leave the city and go on to global success. Desh is one of those stories. Our very own Akram Khan, who uh, we did, we created at Curve his recent production of Desh that went to London and is now going all the way all the way around the world and won the Olivia Award. So, so. So for me, that's a very good example of working in different genres with the best quality people. It's really um, nice to be in, in, in good atmosphere and um, the curve theory is incredible. Technically, it's, it's brilliant and I love the technicians here. I'm completely, uh, you know, I'd, I'd steal them if I could. They're, they're great, they're really supportive and uh, I'm really enjoying it because you know, I studied here at De Montfort University in Leicester, so I have good memories. You expecting company? No. Curve is no stranger to famous faces. And the best in the business are attracted to Leicester thanks to the theatre. Vanquish Peter Pan. Harvey Weinstein opened Finding Neverland right here in 2012. Name a place and This theatre is wonderful, the Curve Theatre. It's got all technical marvels that we can do big things and bring pirate ships on stage and cars and fly people and you can't do that in a lot of regional theatres. That's why this is such a special building and such a special time. So, it's been an amazing five-year journey for the theatre and all who've performed here. But now it's time to celebrate and of course to look ahead to the future. Uh, well, it was very important for the fifth birthday to get a show. Sometimes it's difficult to get the rights for musicals, uh, especially a good one like Chicago. But um, I was able, able to pull a few strings and uh, the theatre was allowed to do this amazingly uh, famous, uh, successful show. Uh, we've done it our own way, so uh, it was a perfect choice. I think now, five years down the line, the audiences have grown to love Curve and I never hear any remarks uh, that are negative at all. It's all positive. Yeah.